Hi Cindy, it's Ian here. Cindy, I thought I'd quickly create a video to show you how you can get hold of cadastral information for South Africa. And there's a couple of options. You can you can go to the various provincial surveyor general offices uh, through the Department of Land Affairs, or you can actually come to a, a website online called OneMap, which has a number of different account versions. And the light account version will allow you to download a limited number of features per month. And I'll show you uh, what that website looks like. So I'm just going to go to my browser and just type in onemap.co.za and that should take you to the OneMap web page and you will need to create your own account here. Uh, once you have an account you can come to the portal and I'm going to go to w the OneMap application which will open up a web map with a, a bunch of layers for South Africa and we just need to turn on the right ones well first of all locate ourselves on this map or the, the study area that we're interested in we turn on the layer that we're interested in and we select an extent and download features so let's first of all zoom into our study area which is down here somewhere okay it's down here somewhere so yeah I think that is the farm that you're interested in so what I'll do is I'll just uh, expand the okay you can come to the right hand side here uh, displays all the maps if we look at the the overlays the one map overlay if we expand this drop down arrow uh, there is a farms uh, option so let's view the farms okay there's the parent farms and we are interested in the farm portions so I'm going to select that and make that my active layer by clicking on the little uh, green uh, tick I'm going to turn off the farm layers. I'm happy that this is our study area. So I'm just going to zoom in a little tighter so that it exports the farms from this extent. And uh, hopefully I haven't reached my limit already. But what we can do is, uh, is then select this extent and export or download these farm features for that active layer. So click on this button to download the features. And there's a couple ste steps we need to uh, fulfill here. So it must be an available layer. Set the extent. So that's what we're going to do next. We can click next. This is all good. And it's going to be visible extent. So we just it asks us to choose our visible extent. That's I'm happy with that. So that's fine. And then we'll click next. It asks us for a name. Oop, farm portions and the projection, I wonder if you can change that Heart of Ears took LO27 might work there um, but you can choose, I think it, uh, it's either going to be 25 or 27 let's uh, set it at, mm, let's go 27 I know East London is 27 and East London is fairly close so let's go 27 we'll click next and done Okay, so I'm going to receive an email telling me that it has been done. So I'll say OK. And just go to my my email quickly and refresh it. Okay, so I've got two links that have come through on email. So let's just open up that first email. And there's a little download link in there. I'm going to click on download. And holding thumbs it has downloaded something so let's say OK now I just need to go and grab that out of my download folder I'm going to put it on my desktop and then extract it to here so extract all yeah let's see what that downloaded Okay, so we have a shapefile which is called farms, and that's just the name I gave it. So I'm not holding thumbs just because it's called farms, that is the name I actually gave it. So if we go back into my browser and have a look on my desktop, and it was, there should be a new folder there, so let's just refresh this. Farms, and let's drag that across and see. Ah, that looks good. Are those farm portions? Let's just click on a few of these and just see. 
Yes, uh, feature label, portion 2, portion 10 of farm 272, that's uh, farm 271. And I actually have uh, some other information from the SG which we can compare uh, this to. So I'm going to go and add that data now, which is in the tutorials folder that I actually sent you. So you'll have this. So I can go Shamwari boundary reserve, reserve boundary there and farm portions. Dump that in there. Close that down. And if I turn off my Shamwari boundary and then I'm going to make my layer slightly transparent. Well not transparent, I'm going to make it no brush and then make the boundaries a different color like a dark red. And then say apply. And now if I flick on and off between the two, how close are they? Very close. I mean, there's a subdivision here that's happened. Okay, so so it looks like the farms boundary that I downloaded from one map is more up to date. I would assume it's more up to date. Uh, this this layer that I have is at least uh, 12 years old. Okay, there you go. So so that is how you can get a limited amount of features per month using that free or light account on one map. So that should do it. Um, Give me a shout if you have any questions. Cheers.